y'all let me tell you what happened at work two days ago but first of all first of all welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel how are you guys doing today i know the title is alarming and that's exactly how i felt two days ago like unbelievable this cannot be happening in 2024 in a country that is very developed but anyways wait 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 i need to get my I need water. I need to calm down because I feel like I'm very, very hot and cold. I am hot. Like, what? I'm very hot. But anyways, I'm very hot-headed at the moment. I'll be right back. I just need to hydrate and let all this energy that's not mine evaporate. BRB. <laughs> anyways, guys, story time, okay? So, there's this guy at work, this man at work literally one second because i'll be getting oily face i love it but like girl do it at the right time but anyways there's this guy at work is very passive aggressive i want to make this video very short so that's why i'm going to straight point like straight away there's this guy at work very passive aggressive and it's not like oh only i have noticed it or like maybe only two people have noticed it it's a kitchen of like maybe 20 people including him and 19 people have the same problem with this one person but for whatever reason it's been going on forever very passive aggressive throws like really rude comments here and there and you know you know when people are like nice to you but like they're not nice in a good way like uh, what's the word when like um, um, they're nice but like it's so they can get something in return or they're nice to manipulate you to keep tolerating them being rude and straight out just being a bad person to you and everybody around them what's the word i don't use this word a lot so like it doesn't come to mind but i know it's like a word that goes out there a lot when uh, i don't know anyways this man is very rude very passive aggressive literally will yell at you to your face confront you and oh my god Whew, see how i'm already getting riled up anyways me and him, we've had like a couple fall-ins here and there. But before that happened, when I started working there, he'd been working there for like, I don't know, three years, whatever. And then I started working there and people were just like, oh, it's just, that's the way he is. We're going to call him Joseph. Oh, Joseph is just like that. He's always just like that. You know, it's rude to people. He's mean to people. He's condescending. He likes to devalue you and look down at you. And people are just like, oh, he's just like that. That's just the way it is. And I'm like, I'm new here, but I guess, even though I don't like it. You know how like right away you see somebody, you hang out with them and you just like this really there's something there's something about you I just don't like it's just not my body's not allowing it. My body's not like it doesn't feel good. That's how I felt when I met him and I noticed that and I'm like but you know, I just started so I guess I'll get along with him. And I guess he wanted to be my friend as well, you know. He's not the type to be friends with people. He's not the type to talk to people. But he likes me, which I should be very grateful for. Because, like, how lucky of me that he wants to be my friend. That he wants me to be his friend. The literal honor. Like, what? That That's not something you see everywhere, right? Especially from someone who doesn't want to be friends with anybody. Like, I should be grateful. I should go pray to God and be like, wow. This gift just for me? Anyways, he wants to be my friend and I'm like, sure. I don't know how to turn people down to be honest and I'm the kind of person where like, as soon as you talk to me, I'm a yapper. I'm usually like, in situations where like, I really don't like you, I really can't help it, I don't talk. And if you don't talk to me, you're gonna think I'm an introvert. But the moment you open your mouth in a very friendly way to me, ah, that's the end. That's the end. You're going to be trying to shut me up. You're going to be trying really hard to make me shut up. But that's what happened. It came to me in a very friendly way, even though, like, you know, I know, like, you know, whatever. And though, so we hung out, like, a couple times, maybe, like, three different times out of work, outside of work. And, you know, trying to be friends. But I kid you not, all of these different times I hung out with him, I realized that this is not a person I can be friends with. This is not a person that I want around me all the time. Our energy is not the same. Our vibe is not the same. Your way of life with mine very, very different. In addition to the fact that we're actually different nationalities or race, as people say. So 
it's quite different but i get along with everybody but specifically i see that this person morals it's not the same as mine i'm not gonna disrespect people because you disrespect people and we're friends no i'm not gonna tell i'm not gonna not tell you you're wrong just because you don't like people telling you the truth and the truth hurts not all the time especially when it's from a friend that actually cares about you the truth is the truth it doesn't have to hurt it doesn't have to be bitter i'm gonna say it in a sweet loving way but this man doesn't like that he wants to be the boss of everything oh my god guys the way i'm surprised about what i'm saying it's like i've seen people like this in movies people that actually go out of their way to be rude to you people that actually like they can't take what they dish out people like that you would say hi to and like they can hear you say hi everybody heard you say hi but literally just ignore you but it becomes such a norm of him being a snobbish person like that where like when it happens and you just like hi good morning joseph like i'm sitting here and you say good morning to me and then goes back to what he's doing y'all hmm hmm wait because i'm getting riled up <laughs> it's so funny to me and it's also making me angry but anyways guys this man is that kind of person and it's a norm whatever whatever i've had my phones with him here and there the most recent one that happened between me and him and i'm like okay don't ever like don't ever help me again and i'm also never going to help you again because uh, what happened was um i was doing my job he wants to micromanage me from home he has done his shift, he's done for the day. I've done my shift, I'm done for the day. And he wants me to like keep texting him about this specific thing that he wants me to keep an eye on. Like, I don't need to keep an eye on it. And he doesn't need to tell me to keep an eye on it. But if he wants me to, sure, I guess. But he hasn't told me. And it's not like I'm new to this job and I don't know what I'm doing. So for you to then feel like I need to keep texting you back and forth while I'm also working my own job and also keeping an eye on something for you that I can really just keep an eye on, without texting you right and he wants me to keep texting him back and forth and i'm busy i'm first of all i'm very very busy i cannot be on my phone all the time i have work to do so whatever happened was he got mad because i didn't do what he wanted me to do exactly when he wanted me to do it and then he called me all kinds of names he called me unreliable in a group chat of like people that have worked there people that still work there and people that don't work there anymore you know i'm just like i'm not even pissed about that i don't get, i do not care if you want to lose your mind especially when it's someone like they just want to yell at you they just want to vent they just want to they just want to like rain on you so and no matter what you're saying to them at that time regardless if you're trying to explain yourself or if you're trying to understand them if they're trying to calm them down he's not listening he just wants to like bring you down intentionally and at some point I was given the excuse of oh, maybe he's mentally or not stable like mentally unstable emotionally this and that but I've seen I've been with and I know a lot of mentally unstable people it's very different being intentional and doing something by mistake is two different things that is very obvious and you can never make that mistake and this is not just my observation this is like like i said there's 20 people working all 19 people that never ever had a conversation of what happened say the same thing about this one person and you know what this one person does is like yes i did that oh 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 wow wow oh wow oh my god evidence wow in addition to the fact that there's already evidence and there's already witnesses there's already so many things that could actually be used against you you now confirm to the fact that you're actually an AO who doesn't care about people and literally hurt people intentionally again and again and again without saying sorry or being like <sighs> but anyways after the biggest after whatever happened with me i'm the kind of person like first of all i already don't like you and then you're gonna disrespect me blocked so i blocked him after whatever happened he called me all kinds of whatever names and i'm like you know what you're not even the kind of person that can be reasoned with so block i blocked him everywhere especially if i feel like you know everybody's seen this nobody's standing up nobody's saying anything including the manager so i really just feel like wow we're really just like gonna let this happen and so i took matters into my own hand i told him exactly what i meant regardless if he was yelling or not because boy you're gonna listen to me anyways 
I don't care if you're yelling. Yell for all you want, boy. I'm already done. I can't hear you. I can't see you. But listen to me. And I told him whatever I needed to say. And I'm like, don't ever talk to me again. Unless it's about work. And I actually need to be there. Don't talk to me. And I also would not talk to you. End of discussion. And that ended there. I felt really bad about shutting someone out like that. Or like blocking. I've never done that. I usually don't. I've never done that before. Block someone or like cut someone out. No. But this person, I had to curb him like really hard. Because no, you're not going to do that to me. And I've seen the things you've done to people that are worse than you've done to me. I'm not going to wait for that to get to that point for me. It sucks that, that ha that's happened to them. It's very painful to see and experience the people that you love being treated very bad. And them not standing up for themselves. But what can I do? Like, if a person doesn't want to be saved, you can't save them. You can't help them. I can only be a witness or whatever. And... The actual violence that happened at work, I happened to experience. So I've just been given free trauma. This is what happened two days ago. In addition to a lot of things that has already happened and the way this man generally is, two days ago, I was working. I'm a line cook, so the line cook area is kind of different from like the baker's area. So we're kind of like, like maybe like 12 feet away from each other but like we can see each other we can talk to each other if we want and that happens a lot especially if you're friends with your co-workers i can literally be making a whole sandwich and be talking to you not like actually talking a full conversation but you know oh i like this music is this your playlist can you send it to me stuff like that we can talk or like you can tell me a joke i can laugh or i can share like a movie i just watched shits and geeks like whatever and so me and this lady we're very close like actual emotional connection she's married she has a son and like you know i don't know we just have that like really genuine soft emotional friendship where like if i'm having issues i can actually talk to her and after talking to her i always feel good and same thing with her everybody's very cool like that at work and this man was also working so i'm standing here she's standing here and he's working somewhere here and you know we're just having fun we're talking everybody knows him we know not to go to him we know to kind of stay away from him because you never know what mood is in the day and you don't want to mess up his mood or like make it worse than it already is usually so we kind of stay away from him and so we're just talking having fun the next thing that happens is it just like comes from wherever it is and there's a dishwasher right in front of where like the lady is working and he just opens the dishwasher and there's a boss bin in there. I wish I could show you guys what a boss bin is, but it's almost like the size of this table of mine, literally this wide and that tall, a boss bin. And he takes it out of the dishwasher and literally throws it at the lady. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We're talking. At this point, we're not like even full on talking. I hadn't seen her in like a whole week, so obviously I miss her and we kind of had a lot to say. But I'm doing my work, she's doing her work, and we're like talking back and forth. He comes out of nowhere, opens the dishwasher, gets mad about the fact that there's a bus in the dishwasher. Oh, sorry, one second, guys. Anyways, guys, where did I stop? So there's a bus bin and the lid of the bus bin in the dishwasher. It gets the lid. It throws it on the table, slams it on the table. Water goes everywhere. It's like, why do you keep talking? Why are you not doing your job? This is that, blah, blah, blah. He calls her stupid. He calls her all kinds of names. Grabs the bus bin, throws it at her. Thank God she works fast enough and was able to, like, redirect the bus bin so that just, like, flies away on the floor. And then he just starts yelling. And I'm not think I'm not saying like yelling on his voice. No, he was looking at her and yelling at her, calling her names. Wow. And you know, I was just there and I like experienced everything. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, what's going on here? Whatever. And she's trying to like talk to him and like ask him like, what's going on? Why are you yelling? This is that. And if that is in a dishwasher, you really can just tell me to come get it, or you can get it out and. Like a normal human being, if something is in your way, you get it out or you get somebody to come get it out for you. And it's not, in this case, it's not something that you can't touch. It's not something that's like actually in your way. Everybody uses this dishwasher. If you need to use it and there's something in there, you just get it out or like ask, can I get this out? Or like, like, bro, please, a random, like a regular kitchen. 
nothing really is in your way because it's not your space it's everybody's space so everybody can use it anytime and then if you need to use that space you can use it but if somebody is using it you just ask politely can i use the space or you just be rude move it away and use the space you don't just throw away whatever is there like i need to use the space so throw everything away like what and so i was there i saw that and i saw her trying to in my shock of like what just happened because i've never seen that in a long time nobody's ever been violent to me nobody's ever yelled at me like that nobody's ever confronted me like that and i haven't actually seen that like actually happen i grew up in a house where we're like oh we yell loud. we talk loud we don't yell at each other we talk loud and growing up in nigeria you get hit you get spanked whatever but i've never had something thrown at me with an intention to hurt me out of anger so seeing that was a lot for me but i was also trying to stay level headed because at this point this man is already physically aggressive and abusive but it really could escalate you know it could get worse so i kind of was like on guard like bro do you know how small i am guys do you know how actually small i am my stature i'm very very well not very very i'm small I'm small so my stature compared to him or even compared to her was like there's no way I could be able to take on these people oh my pure rage if I we try not to absolute rage I don't think there's nobody I can take because like for me like I say it's do or it's D or D like I don't play small I always go all the way so if anything I felt safe in the fact that if I ever need to get physical I could but also like that's not who I am so at that point I was making an order but I, I just felt my hand start like trembling like holy shit what's going on and then I tried to mediate between both of them like okay calm down whatever he's not calming down and like okay this other lady maybe stop talking to him because he's not listening like I'm just trying to like make everybody calm down and this man turns to me and starts yelling at me oh whoa 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 it starts yelling at me and then she got defensive like no don't yell at her she's clearly just trying to bring this out and he turns to her again starts yelling at her and i'm just there like oh my god literally stop <laughs> he came all the way to where i was like he came all the way up front to me like this in my face started yelling at me <laughs> or i don't know y'all i don't know i don't know anyways that happened there's a lot of things that happened we called i wanted to call the cops I wanted to call the cops but then I saw somebody else um, with a phone and I thought they were gonna call the cops but they were just calling like the boss or the manager because it was like 10 20 in the morning there was not a lot of people in there but even at that point when he was yelling there was customers that could see him and could hear him and do whatever he's doing so there was actually a lot of witness and whatever and so we called the manager the magic comes in while the manager's still in, he was still yelling at her, yelling at everybody, trying to be right, trying to prove whatever his point was, which is like pointless. You just really can't get along with people and you just want people to always like fit your schedule, bow down to you, do whatever you want, when you want it, how you want it. And you don't even hide that fact that you're rude. You just want people to see it and be okay with it. And when they're not okay with it, you want to create a scene. But when somebody does the same thing to you, like, okay, this is how I do so, whatever, and you're like, no, you're not the boss of me. Okay, I'm not the boss of you, but are you the boss of me? No. So can we please do ah, that? Anyways, that happens, and thank God that that happened in front of me. I spoke up, and I'm like, yes, I saw that. And we need to do something about this. Apparently, that's been happening a lot and it's happened and there's been a lot of people that are witness nobody says anything they're just like oh sorry i talked to him i gave him a warning for eight months even probably more than eight months for two years like whatever this man is the kind of person that will come in and be like oh i don't like you today and then he won't talk to you for the next three months and i'm not saying he won't talk to you in the sense of like oh i will say hi and bye and like excuse me he would not say anything it would not say he wouldn't even say it excuse me like no word for three months and we're expected to walk to get work together and get things done like <sighs> to me i found that so funny 
I just feel like the whole time that that has been happening, everybody has been such a coward and have been such a hypocrite because they're like, oh, we understand what's going on and this lady is such a very calm person. Like, oh my God, I'm gonna bring my food. Isn't this funny? My food is getting in the way. <laughs> Anyways guys, the manager comes in, is still yelling, whatever, whatever, and I'm just there like, I'm not standing down. I'm standing on business. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was a little like flustered and like, I wouldn't say scared, but I was like shaky about like what's going on because it is my first time experiencing violence, especially at work, in a place where you're supposed to feel safe and you're not expecting it and that just happens. I was caught off guard, I didn't know what to do, but I knew like, it really came down to it I'm gonna do what is right and I'm gonna do what I have to do and so I'm like you can yell all you want yeah nobody's scared of you here I'm not scared of you and also I've seen what I've seen and I'm gonna stand on this truth because usually when stuff like that happens the manager comes in and just like oh, okay I give him a warning I'm gonna move your shift around I'm gonna move your schedule around whatever whatever and then at this point where it's like actually physical and with a witness that's willing to speak her truth and want some kind of justice for this, finally, after a very long time. And then basically that happened. I'm like, no. I told I told the lady, like, this has been happening for too long. And it's not it has happened to you, but also it has happened to everybody, whatever, whatever. Like anyways, I'm just trying to like not make her scared, let her know that she can feel scared and mad about this thing that's going on that should not be going on. Cause she was literally trying to gaslight herself on the spot to like make that like okay because he has done that a lot of times and the managers usually don't listen to her anyways. Well, not the managers. The manager doesn't listen to her anyways. And so the manager comes in. At that point, are you not supposed to tell the person that's being aggressive to literally step off the line or like get out or whatever? The manager comes in. This guy is yelling. This Joseph guy is yelling at him, yelling at her, yelling at everybody. And the manager is like, oh, but okay, but Joseph, you don't need to yell like that. I'm like, you should pull this person out of the presence of everybody right now. Tell him to step off. Tell him to get out if he's not going to calm down. Tell him to leave, at least for like now, for like this one hour, because he's literally a menace and a danger and an unsafe person for everybody around here right now. Even he's unsafe for himself, because I was telling her, you're a very sweet person. If the person he threw something at was me, different story. Not because I'm a bad person, but like I would not think first to be calm, you know? My first reaction would not be, oh my god, what is wrong with you? My first reaction is anger, straight up. Switch anger. Like, are you? Like, I would use a bad word straight up. Like, I'll be so mad, I would use a bad word. And like, there would be no justice needed because I would have served the justice right there. <laughs> I was telling her. And then the next day, like, the man, I don't know, anything, whatever happens, the manager goes home. I was trying to comfort her, make her feel better, and then the next day, which was yesterday, the, um, the guy, the Joseph guy wasn't working, but then the manager comes in, instead of calling a meeting, or like doing something about it, it comes in and starts talking to the lady, oh, okay, so I've talked to Joseph, he said he's willing to move his schedule around, so he doesn't have to work with you, whatever, I'm like, so we're gonna forget everything that happened yesterday, and everything that has been happening so far, including the ones that has happened to you, and we're just gonna do whatever Joseph wants anyways and just move schedules around. Even though he just got physically abusive and violent with someone, with a witness. I'm like, what? And so he said that to the lady and she got like really mad. And then she, after she was like, no, whatever, she went away and she came to me like, can you believe this is what's going on? I'm like, no, it's not right. And if he, if he wants to keep trying to convince you just to be on this person's side and kissing their ass, you can tell him you don't want to talk to him. Just don't talk to him. Don't let him in. Don't even give him the chance to convince you or gaslight you into thinking this is okay. How many times do you have to change your shift? How bad do you have to get hurt before this problem is fixed? And so after she was like, no, we have to take this to the boss, the owner says, you're going to do nothing about it. We have to take this outside of here. We have to like, you know, restraining order, everything. 
and then then the manager was like you know okay then he didn't say anything anymore and then the odd uh, the joseph guy started wanting to apologize after we brought in the bus after we brought in like oh you're gonna be reported like stuff like that like i'm sorry i'm like what now you're sorry and it's the first time ever he has apologized after the threat of maybe losing his job or being charged with something i don't know then he was like oh i'm sorry i was so surprised i'm like did i hear that or like did i just make that up in my mind like did he actually say sorry or did i just make that up in my mind but he actually did and that was just like i'm starting to feel sad now like there's a part of me who like wants to understand him and like wants to give him a chance or whatever but there's also a part of me who was like you're gonna have to learn your lesson some way and it could be by losing this job which like you really shouldn't keep because everybody feels unsafe with him around and anyways today we um oh, what time is it 1 13 i gotta go to work in like an hour or two but i've already been to work today because um yesterday the lady texted me she's like is it okay if i come to work to be in the meeting with her because she doesn't feel like she can do it now she can do it alone but you know just in case because there will be her there will be this manager who's always kissing this other joseph's ass and then there will be the owner so she will be speaking her truth but then he will be speaking for this joseph guy instead of being honest and like being balanced right and she was like and i'm they know me i'm a very balanced person i tend to not pick sides regardless if you're my best friend if you're wrong you're wrong and regardless if you're my best friend or not, if you're right, you're right. So she was like, could you be there? Like, cause from I don't, today I don't work until like 3 p.m. But the owner will be there at like 10 a.m. So she asked me if I could like be there. Like it's okay if I can, but like she would like if I was there. I'm like, girl, I will be there. And so today I showed up, and when it was time, you know, I you know I I didn't come there to like make everybody feel intimidated or whatever. I just came there as the witness that I am and to speak my truth and then oh my god anyways I went there I was in the meeting and at first I was just gonna keep my mouth shut and just like be a part of it just be there physically for her to speak her truth and then the owner was you know we all got there and the owner was like okay so what happened and obviously the manager goes first to like make a report or whatever happened and he's like oh so i wasn't working on this day and what would have happened was like i just got a call and then i heard like yelling in the background and um and then i came to work and he was basically trying to make the matter small that is not small and then it was like oh i got a call i heard yelling in the background joseph was yelling and then i came in I was trying to talk to everybody but basically Joseph is telling me one story and this lady is telling me another story so I don't really know what happened but you were here is the witness she was there and I'm just I was just looking at him like be for real outside of whether she's a fault or not this person just got physically violent with this lady and you're gonna really focus on the fact that oh he's telling me this story but she's telling me this other story is that why we're here is that why we're here because that's not why we're here why we're here is someone just got physically violent in addition to whatever then happened and so he said that and i just i no i'm a very cool person i'm a chill girl like i'm gonna speak my truth in my calm voice because i don't care if you're gonna make it small or not i will still speak my truth and i don't need to be mad at you for wanting to lie or make it a small issue when it's way bigger than whatever you're trying to paint it as so he comes in still with the energy of trying to save face for that guy and kisses us and i'm like you're already a done deal like we're not even looking up to you anyways because if we were this owner wouldn't even be here and so he says that and then the owner is like okay so what happened and then the lady goes on she tells all the story as well like this happened that happened whatever and the owner was like i had no idea all of this was happening i had no idea like he's like no that's wrong especially like everybody should be able to feel safe at work and then i also come in of like yes that's her story but also this is what i saw too so and I'm I I'm and I told the manager I'm sorry that you feel like it's only a little bit of an issue but this is a big deal for us because if I come to work 
and I have to like work around eggshells around this person just because I don't know what's his mood today and I've talked to you about it again and again and again and you're not doing anything you're just like being a spineless person and every time I, I'm at work with this person I feel like one like this person at work you're working with him Joseph He's throwing things there, throwing things there, holding things, talking loud, yelling, like he could be holding a scissors, bangs it on and that one just flies or whatever. And I'm just like, working with him one of those days, I will get hurt. Walking with him one of those days, all these things that he's throwing around will hit me. Outside of the fact that I'm already emotionally scarred and hurt by this person, which I guess we're going to ignore because like emotions. But what about the physical ones? What about the mental? What if I lose my mind from working here? And like, I like working here. I don't want to stop working here. But you got to do something about this person just being like me. And you know, I spoke my truth. I said a lot of things. But anyways, I'm, I just let them know that it's not a small issue. And you're not going to make it a small issue. For whatever reason. I don't care what relationship you guys have outside of work or at work. That then makes you want to always be on the side. But at this point, this manager clearly is not taking care of everybody. Even he's getting hurt by this person. So he's not even taking care of himself. You got to do something. Or we're going to have to do something. And so, you know, everybody was very, you know whatever and like all these things that even happen it's not like they said they said there was like receipts on my phone of like all the things that happened so there was things that happened in person and there's things that happen online too with like witnesses with like these receipts on receipts on receipts and like we, we said it all to the owner and like whatever but basically i feel horrible that this has all happened and even though we don't know what like the decision is yet, whatever, I feel really good about the fact that at least this is now in the open. And everybody for the first time in a long time can be open as well and be honest about what has actually been happening and how they've actually been feeling about this person that's just really aggressive at work. It's my first time to experience workplace violence it's also my first time of being an actual feminist a girl's girl none of this men stood up to this guy none of this men whatever i experienced in person apparently has happened five other times and every f five of those times there's been a witness it has been a man and they've all shut it down they've all shut it said nothing about it and just expect her to be okay with it and like move her schedule around so she works less with this crazy man but that happened with me y'all yeah, i'm gonna praise myself i'm not saying like you know i'm not saying i made it all happen because obviously she was fed up as well and thankfully she finally had a witness that was willing to stand on business and speak her truth because this has been happening for way too long none of this man did anything and me I show up girl I show up if anything guys if you see something say something it's very very important because like for one you have just helped somebody not let herself down by being there for her to lean on because I feel like if I didn't witness that or if I wasn't there or like maybe today she's like oh could you show up and I'm like, no, I'm sorry, I can't. She would have maybe like compromised on the decision. It would have just been her point of view. And like, she's not the type that talks to everybody to know like what everything's going on. I talk to everybody. I literally told this owner, you can talk to this person, that person, and that person about this situation and all the situation just so you get, get the full picture. I even told him like, I feel like it's better if we even talk to the whole staff and get the whole picture of what's actually going on here about how really toxic this person is and how very unsafe we all feel here just because it seems like he's the only important one here and every one of us can go choke on apple juice. But anyways guys, my point is stand on business. Stand on business and speak your truth. And when you see something, say something. It's very important. I feel like if I didn't say something, I would have let myself down too. Like I would just be like, oh, 
oh wow wow like i wouldn't let myself down and regardless if she was strong enough or not to like then report him and whatever i would have still spoken my truth i'm just happy like she was willing to speak her truth also and to be honest she was so grateful to me i i, I was just doing what i would do regardless if she was a good or bad person but it turns out it made a big deal and she was very grateful she was very happy and this manager usually is like a very shy person not very like this i know he's happy too i know he's happy he finally got whatever's bothering him out too which usually i guess he can't but you know just having one person willing to you know willing to be honest with herself and willing to be there for other people is a good thing so you know you can be that person too you don't have to be you don't have to put yourself in unsafe situations but regardless you should be able to speak your truth you should be able to be there for other people just so other people can be there for you as well and so people can speak your truth as well because when he was yelling at her when he threw the buzz at her whatever because i stood up and was like oh my god that should not happen when he started yelling at me and when he started getting up close with me she stood up for me so it was like you know we were both there for each other and that felt perfect but imagine if like that happened and i just pretend like oh it probably didn't happen it could have gone a very bad way and i wouldn't be feeling this good i wouldn't be feeling like a girl's girl i feel bad for him but you gotta learn if you're not gonna learn the hard the easy way you're gonna learn the hard way and unfortunately for him he has to learn the hard way this has been going on for way too long he's not a god and nobody is anybody's slave especially in 2024 are you kidding like what that's so ugly do better do better <laughs> anyways guys that's it for today oh let me show you guys what i made myself to compliment myself for being a badass for being a b b let me go let me go plate my food and then i'll show you guys <laughs> Stop. Y'all, look at that. So this is chicken, thighs, some veggies, rice with a little bit of chili and oil. And voila, we're ready to eat. But I bet it guys, um, let me just say goodbye before I actually leave. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm gonna go enjoy this meal because I deserve it. And to be honest, I'm really hungry. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And please, please, please don't forget. Always make sure you're safe. Always make sure the people around you are safe. But if you see something, say something. And if you don't wanna say it, write it down, be anonymous, take action, please. Stop ignoring other people, stop ignoring yourself. And don't be scared. You're important and nobody else should make you feel like you're not. People are allowed to make you feel like you're important and you should be happy about that, but nobody's allowed to make you feel less or like you're just garbage or like you're good, but less than me. You're great, you're perfect, you're, oh my God, amazing, you're breathtaking. And I'm happy you're here. There's a lot of people that are happy you're here, regardless if you know it or not, regardless if you believe me or not, I'm so happy you're here, you're so loved, you're so important. Stand up for yourself and stand up for the people around you. You don't have to do it directly, you can do it indirectly, you can do it, do it anonymously, but please do something when you need to do something. Always put yourself first, never let yourself down, directly or indirectly. I'll see you guys in my next, pic in my next picture. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section or not. Feel free to follow me on Instagram because that's where I post all of my moods as it's happening. If you followed me on Instagram, you would have probably seen me like just go crazy and like rant or like just post random things to kind of like hint at what I'm going through at the moment. But either way, thank you so much for being here. Like I said, I see you. I appreciate you and you're wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. I am so hungry. I would go eat and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.